Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you've read the title, which I assume you have, you will know that this is my 24th birthday vlog. It is officially my birthday weekend. I am 24 on Sunday, which is kind of terrifying to me. Like I feel like 24 is when official adulthood begins. Welcome to the birthday vlog. As I said, it's currently Friday and I kind of have different birthday festivities happening throughout the weekend and I'm going to take you guys along. Tonight I'm going out with some of my friends for birthday dinner at Two Taps in Belfast. So Two Taps is like a tapas restaurant and I've never been before but I'm very excited to try it. They have a pretty extensive vegan menu which is pretty cool so I'm looking forward to that. They even have like vegan halloumi. That's what the crack is tonight so I'm just starting to get ready for it for that. I'm getting ready a little bit early it is only about four o'clock but I don't know like I just want to give myself time to be prepared and actually get ready so that's what I'm doing I'm just putting my makeup on as you can see and I'm going to go and get ready and stop blabbering because I don't like having really long talking clips anymore I'm gonna actually put some makeup on and I'll speak to you when I'm ready hi so as you can see I'm ready to go. I'm all dolled up and ready to go. Actually looking like, I was gonna say functioning human being, but I feel like that was a bit harsh on my other side, on my non-makeup self. I feel like I'm looking like an adult, like a 24 year old. Whereas when I don't have makeup on, I look much more like a 16 year old. But anyway, yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. Kind of curled my hair. Um, got all my fave necklaces, which I got in Manchester. Obviously, have to have my Sagittarius on because it is literally Sagittarius season. Season, so obviously I had to wear that. Then I've got on this little one that I got at the same time. I love wearing these two together. Um, it's a little planet. Well, it's like a planet, but it's actually a heart, and it's purple, which matches my nails, which matches my top which i really like i actually bought it yesterday <laughs> in zara because i was stressing so much about where to get a top for tonight because i bought these trousers in the charity shop so they're like a croc print leather trousers they're from mango right i got them for four Four pounds fifty in the charity shop, so I was absolutely buzzing with them. They like fit me perfectly, which is great because trousers don't normally fit me because I'm literally five foot two. Um, but these do, so that's fun. Um, so yeah, that's my outfit. Then I've got on this coat, which is old. I think it's from Pull and Bear, from literally like 2016. But I thought it went well with the outfit. It'll keep me nice and warm and cozy. And I've got my watermelon gin with some raspberry syrup and lemonade and I'm ready to go so I'm very excited go see my friends so I have my first birthday present do you know what I actually got my first birthday card like a month ago from Gymshark and it was like oh you 15% off for your birthday I was like I rarely go to the gym so I'm not even gonna use this but this is my first birthday present so I'm gonna open it oh this looks lovely is it a bag I can take this to Edinburgh it's sort of like a gym bag, isn't it? Well, this is going to be good for, um, we're going to Edinburgh in literally two days. So I can use this for that. And it, do you know what? It matches my bag. We have a W. Smith gift card. Do you know what? I'm going to save this and use this in Edinburgh because um, I don't think we have W. Smith over here anymore. Yeah, literally the airport. So this is coming to Edinburgh with me. And yes. Let's go get some carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I see that made the run. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello.
Good morning, guys. So it is now the next day. It is Saturday, and it's basically my birthday today because I'm not counting tomorrow because Sundays are kind of. Look at those cars. Look. Yeah. Did you see them? You might have not seen them. I don't know what you've seen, but they were cool. Anyway. As I said, I'm basically counting my birthday today. I'm sorry about this weird lighting. It's because the sun's like behind us. But starting off the day, as we mean to go on with absolutely fabulous Odoo nuts. And um, this is our special edition matcha and white chocolate as vegan. So I'm so excited about this. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. So good. And as always, a flat white with oat milk because their coffee is also sensational. Yeah. Last night we went to Two Taps, as you saw, their vegan dishes were absolutely incredible. I got vegan potato sprabas, which, oh my god, I literally could have had uh, just a massive bowl of that and just spoon it into my mouth. It was absolutely amazing. Vegan halloumi, which was also so good. Although I thought it was tasting more like brie than halloumi, which I'm not really mad about because it still tasted like cheese. And it was really nice, so yeah. But then you also said, you, he got normal halloumi and he also said it's a lot... It, felt a lot softer than normal halloumi like you know the halloumi is quite like hard and chewy it was a lot softer um, and then my other dish was flatbreads with like an assortment of dips so I got red and green pesto and I think it was red and green pesto or it might have been on top one. two different tapenades it was like olive tapenade and then maybe like pepper or tomato tapenade I'm not sure and then vegan garlic aioli which was also so good but like the portion was massive and like I, I literally probably only ate half. Did you finish all yours? Yeah. And then we got a Joe sangria which I drank myself. And then we went to the national which was freezing but um got a hot bramble. The guy um who was serving us was like we don't do this I was like it's on your menu and then he had to, like had to look up how to make it and all but it was really nice. Like, it was so good, it was so warm, and then we went to Common Market and just kind of sat there for a while, and that was it. And now it's happening. Okay, so I also want to show you a present that I got last night. Amy Finn, my absolute bestie, got me a lovely present. It's so thoughtful over, like, she literally didn't have to get me anything, but um, I'm very thankful. So, first up, she got me some vegan sweeties, so we have a Peruvian dark chocolate bar, which is 70% dark. I absolutely love dark chocolate, and obviously it's kind of hard to get chocolate when you're vegan. So thank you so much to Amy for getting me a lovely vegan friendly chocolate bar. And the absolute ultimate vegan sweet, which is fruit pastels, which are vegan friendly. So they are literally, every time like we hike, it's always fruit pastels. They're just the most best for energy sweets. Then she also got me these absolutely stunning earrings. What do you see? They're so nice. And did I show you these? Mm -hmm. Your mum would love these, wouldn't she? They're little um, butterflies. Oh, they don't even really show up that nice on camera. But like, they've got all these like wee gem stones in them and they're all different colors. I want to show you them better because they're actually stunning. Yeah, you can kind of see them a bit better this way around. Aren't they so nice? And like they're so tiny and subtle, which I absolutely love. So I can't wait to wear them. And then also a lovely candle, which smells incredible. I love these kind of candles. Like it's quite like industrial looking almost. It's quite modern. I wonder what, is it, what it says it smells of. Oh, it's from Typo. Oh my God, a Typo, if you know me. If you know me, you will know that Typo is my literal favourite shop ever. That's where I got um, this. It's quite a sweet smelling candle, but I'm not 100% sure what exactly the smell is. But it smells really good.
Hello, so we went to this place called Fodder in Downpatrick and it's basically like a little woodland area with, it's all kind of Nordic themed. It's got like a teepee and it's got sort of barbecue situation going on and it's all in like um, Norwegian or something like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's like shop was spelled S-H-A-P-E but it had like an umlaut above it. I don't know if it's called an umlaut in that specific language but in German it is. So yeah, uh, we went there, it was very nice. I was gonna get food but they didn't really do anything vegan. Um, but I did get coffee and this Karma Cola which was really really good. It's like a natural um, sort of ethical cola. Um, so that was nice. We had a lovely walk and then we're in St. Field because there's the St. Field Saturday market and we were out this direction anyway, so I was like, let's go to that and have a little look around. And yeah. back in my house now and I think the last time I spoke to you was when we arrived in St. Field. We pretty much just looked around that wee market. I picked up a lip balm and then I picked up a couple of books which are in the kitchen so I'll show you them in a bit. Um, from like this book box thing. It was like a Royal Mail, no not Royal Mail, it was like a telephone box but they've made it into like a wee library and you swap books or like you take books and leave a donation so I left a donation and picked up a couple of books. Which I was very excited about and then we went around a few of the shops which was very nice and then didn't really do much else but we went back to Adam's house because he had to pick something up and he gave me a little early birthday present which I'm so excited to show you you'll have just seen a sneak peek glimpse but oh my goodness <laughs> anyone who knows me will know how excited I am about this literally like I have a very few favorite artists Probably at the minute, Sam Fender, Jamie Cullum, James Taylor, um, Jake Bug would be up there. I'm sure there's someone. Kelsey, no, not Kelsey Ballerini. Uh, Casey Musgraves. They'd probably be my top at the minute really like Lady Antebellum also. Okay, I don't need to do a full run through of all my favourite artists, but anyway. Jimmy Cullen was among them. And oh my god, this is his new album, The Piano Man at Christmas. And Adam got me a signed CD of it. And it's like Jamie and Sophie Dahl and oh my goodness. I'm so excited about it. So we listened to some in the car and I was just loving life, feeling all Christmassy and it's literally signed by Jimmy Cullen. Like how cool. I'm very happy about that. There was a lovely early birthday present on my friend Adam was put on sleep. <laughs> oh golly, that was dramatic, wasn't it? This is precarious, but we're going with it. So I said I would show you the two books that I got um, in the book swap box thing. And I got Paul Coelho. I definitely just butchered that name. The Alchemist. Uh, I've heard great things about this, so I'm very excited to read it. And I also picked up the one that I'm most excited for was The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstein because I've heard this is absolutely incredible. Really, I would have liked to have gotten this about a month ago, but I would have liked to read it for Halloween, that's why, um, if you're wondering. So I found this in the box. It isn't in great condition, like it's a little bit tattered and worn, but it literally basically cost me hardly anything so I'm not going to complain about that. I also think this might be like a US edition. Reading group. I don't really know. It is a different edition I think than normal. But yeah, I also picked this up and I'm very very excited about reading this because I've heard it's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, now I'm just going to get ready because we're heading for dinner soon at the White Horse Inn in St. Field. <laughs> I know we were already in St. Field but we're literally going back for dinner and I'm very looking forward to that so I'm going to 
just put some eyeshadow on, maybe fix my eyebrows a wee bit and put a nice outfit on. So yeah, excited. I've got a really sore knee, do you know what? I'm, like, I was in boots and I like knelt down on my knee. Like I generally thought I was gonna start crying because it was so painful and I couldn't get up and Adam had to like lift me up because my knee was in so much pain. So that's not ideal. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about that. But this is the life of someone who's gonna be 24 tomorrow. Aging! Yay, we love it! So that is me, pretty much ready to go. I just put on some like purplish eyeshadow, purpley pinky eyeshadow, some lip gloss, and change my outfits. So I've got on this Zara, whoop, Zara M. Um, bodysuit in purple then these jeans which are from jigsaw but i actually got them in tk maxx and they're honestly like one of my favorite pairs of jeans of all time i don't have my shoes on yet because they're actually in my car and um, then i've got on a blazer under this jacket so it's just a plain black blazer and i've got this jacket on but it's very cold and then my fave necklaces as always so yeah ready to go guys was when I was getting ready but basically we went to this place in St. Field called the White Horse Inn for dinner which was really good 10 out of 10 I got Bang Bang Vegan Halloumi for a starter which was chef's kiss <laughs> I feel really cringe doing that I feel like I'm not cool enough I feel like people do that and now I just feel like I've really embarrassed myself but I don't know what <laughs> it was great um, and then I had vegan spaghetti bolognese for my moon, which was nice, although not as good as the starter, but it was still really good. And then for dessert I had, also vegan, obviously. I feel like it's kind of unnecessary for me to say, but I kind of feel like I have to in case someone comes at me and I'm like, that's not vegan. I'm like, what it is. Anyway, I had vegan apple and caramel pie with vegan vanilla ice cream and also a couple of cocktails. So yeah, it was very good, very nice. Would highly recommend if you're in Northern Ireland. For vegans and non-vegans, even. Adam, you really enjoyed yours as well, didn't you? He's good. good. Yeah, he says it's good. And he gave me a thumbs up, I don't know if you heard. But anyway, basically I'm coming on because I'm officially, well I was gonna say I'm officially 24. Technically I'm not, because I was born at two minutes six in the evening, so still a few hours off it but it was on this day in 1997 when the miniature little sham was brought into the world um so yeah it's 21 minutes past midnight on the 20th of november 2021 which means it is my birthday it's my 24th birthday does this mean i have to adult now but anyway adam bought adam got, gave me my presents he did give me a present earlier as you saw which was the jamie Collins and album which was absolutely glorious but that is not the only sound album i've got this birthday i also have this absolute thing of wondrous beauty and <laughs> um niceness check <laughs> that was getting funny looks there yes 17 going under that says on it Happy birthday, Sean. And then a nice sweet signature. Sean Fender wished me a happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks. Even though he did probably write this in October. Oh. September. Oh. October probably. I think I'll go to bed like this or not. But look, it says, it says, 
Happy birthday, Sham. Happy birthday, Sham. Happy birthday. Um, so yeah, that was, that was that. <laughs> and then I also have a lovely package here with some things in it as well, including the best birthday present idea for me, which is an advent calendar. This is a Hotel Chocolat Dark Chocolat advent calendar. Um, my birthday falls two days before the 1st of December, which means that advent calendars are a very safe bet for birthday presents. Um, so yes we have that and then also in this bag we have this package which is from Ask Boutique in Armagh and if you watched my vlog a couple of weeks ago you'll have seen that I tried on a few jumpers and Adam said he was getting me one for Christmas but he surprised me and is giving it to me for my birthday and you might not know what this one is, but I'm gonna show you. We have the apple jumper! It's hard to see. Can you take the helmet? The helmet? I said the camera. Oh. Here we have the apple jumper, which I really wanted when I was in the store. And I was using my 100 pound high school voucher and I couldn't afford to buy the three that I liked. So Adam was like, I'll buy one for Christmas but he actually bought me it for my birthday. So I'm taking this to Edinburgh with me. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Adam. You're the best. You're the best. Good night. See you in the morning when it is still my birthday. Yay. It's happy birthday to me. guys so it is officially my 24th birthday today's the day although i did last week too when it was officially my birthday but now it's like my birthday and it's bright outside like the sun's out so <laughs> it's my day of birth so yeah i it's actually like mid-afternoon it's currently half two and to be honest today it's been pretty busy because i'm doing a read along at the minute of jodie pickles wish you were here and I spent a lot of the morning catching up with that because I wasn't able to read any yesterday because we were so busy. And then I've got a few articles to write for work that I want to get done before we go away tomorrow. And I had to sort out suitcases because we're away tomorrow and I still need to pack. So yeah, it's been a pretty busy morning. But other than that, uh, I just want to show you my presents from my dad because my dad came into my room this morning with my birthday presents and they're flipping hilarious. Like... Ugh. They're so good, right? I'll show you what he got me. But um, one of the things he got me was tickets for Sam Fender in Newcastle in April. It's either April or March. I can't remember. Next year, which I'm so excited for. I think it's April, like the very start of April. Um, so I can't wait for that, honestly. Like, I just think it'll be amazing. One, because Sam Fender's just amazing. And two, because it's like his hometown. Which really just makes it so much better. So that was one of the presents for my dad. Oh, that tea is still warm. Well, like, obviously, but like it's roasting. Uh, then other than that, as I mentioned yesterday, advent calendars are always a solid choice for a birthday present for me. So my dad got me the ASOS face and body advent calendar. Um, I got this last year. Was it last year? Two years ago got this two years ago and i absolutely loved it so yeah dad got me this again which i'm very happy about uh this is obviously the bag that it's in and then the calendar's in here it's such a cool concept what do you see i'll try and show you once you take it out of the bag it's like this big box and basically you open up the box and then there's lots of like individually wrapped or like individually boxed products in here and they're all dated so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then underneath there is all the rest of the dates up until 24. so yeah thank you so much to my dad for that it's actually one of the best value advent calendars going i love it so much like sometimes makeup ones can be a bit weird like i'm not big 
into makeup. Like I do like makeup, but I'm not massively into it. Whereas this face and body one has lots of like really good skincare products and like you can see them all in the back there. So there's stuff from like Estee Lauder, there's stuff from Dr. Jart, there's stuff from Dr. Pawpaw, there's stuff from Origins, Olaplex, uh, The Ordinary, This Works, Urban Decay, um, Sleek, loads, like literally Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my god. There's a Charlotte Tilbury magic cream in this advent calendar. Wow. There you go. More you know, huh? Like, overall I try as much as possible to use like vegan beauty products and um, I'm not 100% sure if all these are. I'm gonna assume they're not. But um, when I'm kind of buying for myself, I do tend to opt for vegan options. But I'm gonna assume that all of these aren't, so please don't come for me in the comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, Father also got me this Mrs. Tilly's vegan fudge which is just fantastic i've had it before i'm such a fudge lover like i absolutely love fudge but it's really hard to get fudge when you're vegan because it's obviously butter um but this is really good so this is yeah it's the belgian chocolate one it's so nice and that's not too expensive either like you'd think like because it's vegan it'd be really dear but it's actually not too bad and um, the final thing my dad got me <laughs> is a jar of instant coffee basically it's not like really weird there is a story behind this uh this was like my favourite coffee for years. Like I probably started drinking this when I was about 16, 17 and it's the only coffee I drink like, yeah, basically the only coffee I drink at home and they've discontinued it. Like they don't make it anymore and we were kind of still getting it for a while because the shop still had stock but they've really run out of stock now, you can't get it anywhere and my dad managed to find this in order to go up. It is seven quid. Like we used to only buy it when it was on offer. Uh, like it would be reduced to like three fifty, four pound. So we would buy it when it was on offer. But then, obviously, like this is like the final stock, and it was seven pound, which is an absolute rip for coffee. But it's so good. I'm gonna be so sad when we don't have this coffee anymore because it's absolutely delightful and it's a wonderful way to start a morning. And I'm glad I'm gonna have it for another couple of months. Month so, yeah. I've actually bothered to put some clothes on at a quarter to six in the evening. Saying that. Being busy day. Not being out of the house. <laughs> Whoa. Why did it go full Belfast there? Um Yeah, uh busy day. So I literally have only put clothes on now because I probably want to get some pictures. I'm doing my birthday cake. So yeah, I've got on my birthday badge. Obviously gotta make the most of it. Um and we're just making dinner like we're not really doing anything exciting for dinner just um having like a mushroom pie with these leon waffle fries that are from the freezer <laughs> had literally two dinners out two nights in a row so i'm not really fussed and then from monday to friday i'm literally gonna be eating out every day because we're in edinburgh so uh it was just like a simple dinner for tonight uh yeah that's what we're having. I think I might put some vegetables on because I think my body needs some vegetables. But anyway, yeah, having dinner and then we're gonna do the cake. I'll show you what the cake looks like right now. It's just the wicked uh, Tesco, like Belgian chocolate and raspberry cake. But it looks class, like it looks so good. So I'm buzzing for that. Um, and I need to do my nails because I took them all off. Look at the state of this nail, sorry. You don't want to know. Uh, yeah. I'm
Ja, ja. 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 Ja, um, yeah, I'm up at four in the morning tomorrow and it's currently half eight and I still gotta edit this vlog so I'm gonna do that so I'm just gonna bring this vlog to an end here hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to head down below and give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe because I'm uploading videos every Sunday I'm glad that I have the opportunity to share occasions like this with you and um, put my memories out there online and be able to look back on them all that stuff let's not get softy and um, yeah Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Oh, for like the sort of vlogmas, which I'm not really doing, but it'll be like vlogmas, but like one a week. Okay, bye.